Okay, sometimes I think uh, the best way to communicate something is uh, by just showing, showing people. So I hope this helps you. It may not be exactly what your situation is, but I'm going to take a stab at it and create a new plan in uh, Home Designer Suite 2012. I'm not concerned with the uh, template style. I don't use the grid myself. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, now I'll draw a box or a house as you as you will. Okay, I'm just going to put. We didn't you didn't talk about roofs, so I'm just going to leave the roofs on there as they are. I'm going to draw a garage. When you're figuring out terrain, uh, I always draw in the garage first. And that's just so I can line up the terrain, and that's, I think this is what you need, really kind of need to know. So I'm going to name this uh, space in their garage. I'm not going to name anything else. Now, garages are commonly uh, lower than the house for drainage. You don't, you don't want, want, you want the car, the garage down on the level where you can just drive into the room. But also, if it, there's a frog strangler kind of rain, then uh, you'd... You, you don't want run, water to run in the garage, so I'm just going to put it at minus six. Uh, we don't home designer suite doesn't slant floors like they are actually built in the field. Garages commonly have slanted floors so that they're higher at uh, at the back of the garage and low and what and the lowest at the uh, garage door. So I'm just going to set it to its lowest height. You can figure that out for yourself. Now we'll put a door in, garage door. That's fine. Now, <clears throat> also, you said you had a uh, foundation. So we'll build a foundation. Build foundation. Uh, wall height. I think you, let's see, what did you say? I've got three monitors on here. I'm, I'm looking at another monitor to see what height you said. I think you said on... Um, up, 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 eight feet higher on the left. Eight feet higher than on the left and on the right. Well, I'm going to reverse that because I put my garage on the right. Okay. And I'm just going to use that default setting. <laughs> There's the uh, foundation. We'll take a look at it with a dollhouse camera. It's just a foundation. Uh, has a slab here because I named this space garage. You know, those names are not just names. They're actually programming commands. And the this is just out-of-the-box defaults for the rest of the foundation. <coughs> Close that. Okay, we'll go back up to the first floor and create a terrain plane. And uh, I'll just keep, keep this kind of simple. Uh, I'm going to go over here to... Elevation data, flat region. We'll make it flat here in the back, and I'm going to assume we have a walkout basement sort of a situation. I'm going to put it at minus 96 in the back. Now, this by itself it won't modulate the terrain. You have to have two values to modulate the terrain. So I'm going to take this object here. I could go up, to the, up here and just create a new one, but I'm just going to copy-paste this one over here. I want it kind of flat, at least where we enter, enter, enter the garage. Yeah. And uh, this stuff that hangs over the edge doesn't have any effect on anything. It's just, just the part of the uh, elevation data that's over the uh, terrain plane has effect on it. This, this one I'm going to set to zero. I'm going to open this dialog box to do that. Set that to zero. <coughs> And uh, let's see, you said it was higher on the left. So I'm going to make my, oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Let me understand what this, my home is being built on a lot that's about eight feet higher on the left than it is on the right. Well, so my slab is about 10 feet tall. I don't quite understand that, but hopefully what I'm showing you here will help. I'm going to put in one more value to give this a little more, See, we'll just bring that over that way, and I'll put in uh, another terrain 
elevation, and only this time just a line across here. Now this is zero. Uh, let's see, do we have a curve tool in here? Yeah, right there. Make that curved. Just for fun, there's nothing significant about me curving that line. Press the Alt key, left click. Yeah, that's not working real good. We'll just move that. I just wanted to get it a little higher on this side here. Now this is zero. I'm going to put this at um, um, a positive value. Let's say 60 inches. <clears throat> okay, let's look what see what this mess looks like now. Okay, this may be what you were talking about. How do you move things in Sweet? I'll just use the arrow keys. No, the arrow keys aren't working very good. Okay, maybe this will... Is that the one I need? Man, I'm used to Chief Architect for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you move move things around here? Well, maybe it's this camera type. Anyway, you can see that the garage is kind of uh, submerged, and that's probably what you were talking about. Well, I didn't realize it was so hard to navigate. Gosh, this is awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm getting too much too much junk around here. Oh, I know. I better know what it is. It's probably a terrain. Uh, well, where is it? And I'm totally spoiled. Okay, I don't want to flatten the pad. That's what's creating all this junk around the edge of the house. There we go. See that? See all those lines that disappeared? Because I want it flat here to drive into the garage. I want it lower in the back and higher over here. And this is just the starting point. The software, I'm doing a front elevation camera, and uh, right now you can see the garage door is below, below grade, which is not very good. Uh, let's see, do I have dimension tools? Where's my dimension tools? Man, Sweet doesn't have dimension tools? <laughs> okay, I'll have to guess. It looks like about 30 inches. I'm going to double click on the terrain. It, the, the, the train skirt here no, to get this dialog. And you can see it's auto calculate ele elevations at minus 20. I'm going to uncheck that so I can change the value. And I'm going to guess that it needs, I will just set it at zero and see where it goes. Okay, that's better. I just guess it needs to go down a little lower. Now the way this, uh, the way this works is uh, you put in a positive value, let's put in six, and it'll lower it six inches. Okay, I want the garage door right at uh, grade. And now I've got it there. But you see what I did? I just opened this dialog, unchecked auto-calculate elevation, and then I started playing around with the values until I get the garage door where I want it. This is probably not exact, but this is one way to you uh, always uh, change the terrain relative to the house. Okay, so I'm, I've got, this is what, maybe what you were talking about, the uh, foundations out of, out of the ground. You can click on that and open it, and you get the room, I should get a room, di okay, I'm not getting the dialog box. See, I can click on this and drag it, and it'll drag the floor of the uh, foundation down, but I'm going to go Control-Tab, back to Plan, and go to the Foundation. And this part of the foundation, I'm going to say it's, you know, we're going to put a rumpus room in it or something. And <clears throat> go to the structure tab and tell the floor, I'm going to uncheck default, and tell it to be 96, uh, my, excuse me, uh, wait a minute, what am I doing here? I want, to, I want to do the ceiling and set it at 96 inches. Now, let's take a look at the uh, dollhouse view. See, oops, well, that didn't, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the room dialog box. Okay. We want the floor above to stay at zero. Oh, okay. I was, 
This is the one I need to change. Finish ceiling 96. My bad. But you can teach yourself to program just diddling around with it. Okay, now let's go back to this uh, camera over here. See now we got uh, your foundation's not, your house isn't all up in the air. And, um, but let's take a look from the inside. I don't know if Sweet will do this kind of, no it doesn't. Okay. Then uh, we need to put a door back here in the back. A door and a window in the basement. Just so I'll have, we'll have a reference. And then uh, I'm going to do a camera view. The camera ought to be like five feet. Of, okay. Man, what's wrong with that window? Floor to top. Man, that's goofy. I can't explain some of this stuff that the software does automatically. But that's kind of the point. You're the end user. You make it do what you want it, want you to do. Now, it looks like the terrain in the back is a little high. See, the door is below grade. That's the reason I put the, the door there. So I'm going to go back to plan and take this thing here and lower it uh, four more inches to minus 100. And I've still got this camera open. I've got this camera open. I'm going to hit Control-Tab back to... Uh, okay, I need to lower it a little bit more. Still, the threshold is still a little bit above ground. I mean, below ground. It's not rocket science. Let's go, uh, you know, minus 106. But it is a matter of knowing uh, what to do to make to make things uh, work out like you want. Now, this is a walkout basement. There's a tutorial in the help database. But this, this was, uh, I think you were having trouble moving the terrain around, and you move the terrain relative to the house. You don't move the house relative to the terrain. Everything pretty much revolves around the, the, the uh, floor zero of the first floor. Unless you're going to have a split-level house, you just don't mess with that. <coughs> so let me close. I'm not, oh, that's, uh, yeah, the floor is right here, and then uh, the stem wall goes below that. If you don't want to see that, you can just uh, open the uh, terrain. And, oh, you can't. you don't have that in. Sweet. Sorry. <laughs> in pro and in chief, you could make the skirt skirt thicker to cover that up, but it's no big deal. It's just cosmetic. I'm going to close this. So you can see how this is kind of developing. Now, this room doesn't have a floor. Let's give it a floor. Dup, dup, dup. Floor finish. Structure. See, that, that's dotted. Uh, maybe I need to do it from... Uh, Let's do it from plan view. Why am I not seeing the floor? Ceiling finish, floor finish. I'm going to give it a half an inch of floor finish. Okay. I should be able to see that hardwood junk in there now. I don't, I'm not very interested about, well, I'm not seeing it. Our floor is turned off in this camera, you said. A lot of new users don't know about uh, over here in tools, display settings. There's a display options for camera views that we're in. This is the one for camera views. If I was in plan view, when I went to the same place, I would get one for plan view, and they're not the same. I wonder if floors are turned off or something. Floor server, no, it's not it's turned on. Well, I'm not quite sure why we're not seeing the floor. Let me check, check, try a different camera. Well, it's goofy. Why am I not seeing a floor? Oh, maybe it's because I haven't named it. I haven't used Sweet 2012 in a while, sorry. Let's name it uh, Family, see if that makes a difference. Yeah, okay. There's some other things I can chase here with materials, but that isn't what this tutorial is about. I like this awful looking OSB on the ceiling, but that's not what this tutorial is about. Let me check. Yeah, no more cameras are open. But hopefully this is, I've shown you that 
wrong camera. I've shown you that you can move the terrain relative to the house. You double click on it and then you can change this value here to move the terrain up and down as an object. You use elevation objects to modulate it to make it go higher and lower and, and on one side or the other. <clears throat> if you wanted to have a slanted driveway here, uh, you know, we could lower the, uh, make this 18. Then you could put a wedge in here for a driveway or something like that so you drive up to the garage. Uh, there's different ways to handle it depending on what you want to do. But uh, hopefully this will help you and, and this will uh, give you the understanding that you need to. You know, sometimes when somebody posts a question, it's hard to understand by just reading it without seeing uh, the house or seeing pictures of your house uh, to really give you uh, germane information that's, that's, that works, works for what you're doing. But hopefully this will help. Thank you. I'm going to shut her down.